Chipotle CEO says proportions haven't changed. You realize that we have eyes, right? We have eyes that allow us to perceive reality for what it is. And we can see unequivocally that the portions have indeed changed. But then again, maybe it's our fault. Did we try the right head nod? All you gotta do is kind of like... <laughs> what a chud. I told you this was going to happen. It looks like Chipotle has hit that final line where they have nothing left to exploit for profit. So now they're in the denial phase, which is not gonna last that much longer. Then will come the bargaining phase, which is exactly what we see is happening over here at McDonald's. This is what's gonna happen to every single fast food chain. Because all these price hikes and proportion shrinkages have nothing to do with the inflation. <laughs> That's Bidenomics for you. Biden couldn't find a snowball in a blizzard. There's not a single solitary Biden man that is as old, old, younger than any Biden woman. The evil boogeyman mastermind, he is not, clearly. If we elect two more senators, we keep the House and Democrats we're gonna get a lot of unfinished business. We're gonna get done. All this fast food stuff has nothing to do with the economy or the inflation. And do you wanna know how I know that? Well, that's because all of these fast food places have had record profits every single year. And I don't know if you know this or not, but you can't have record profits and inflation. Either the inflation is not real or the record profits is not real. And since we can clearly see here that the record profits are real, that means... Here, let me help you. Do you see the correct answer? Ves la respuesta correcta? Si. <laughs> the reason all of this is happening is because for some reason, the vast majority of corporations in America have adopted this absolutely unsustainable and completely delusional business practice of we need to make more money than we did the previous year every single year. Basically, we need to make record profits every single year forever, regardless of, uh, you know, that thing, um, what's it called? Um, oh yeah, reality. Oh, you want record profits every year? <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have missed the part where we fell into a magical bullshit land where unicorns fly and your shit don't stink no more. It's literally not possible. You will inevitably always hit a plateau, which is exactly what all of these businesses, all these fast food places are hitting that plateau. Here, I'll show you exactly how we got here. The shareholders went, we want more money, record profits every year. And the CEOs went, well, that's not physically possible. Well, if you make it possible, you can give yourself as many bonuses as you like. Well, hot diggity damn, I guess I'll figure something out. So what did they do? Well, first they exploited their workers by paying them as little as legally possible. And of course, lobbying the government to make sure minimum wage never increases in a realistic manner. While at the same time, of course, weaseling their way out of paying their workers any sort of benefits or treating them like human beings, because why would we? But remember, we have to make more money than we did the previous year. So, what do we do now? Well, so then they fired the majority of their workers, making the remaining employees work three to four times harder than they would before. Of course, for less pay. So we take the money away. But, uh-oh, now we have a problem. We've exploited our workers to the max. So, now what are we gonna do? Well, I guess we'll have to exploit our product by buying the lowest quality ingredients the government will legally let us buy. After lobbying the government to lower the standards, of course. <laughs> of course. 
Oh, but here comes another year. We need to make more money, remember? But we have nothing left to exploit. Guess we'll have to exploit our customers, won't we? Uh-oh. And we'll do that by first adding ridiculous costs, like... Paper bags. Yup. Why are they charging 10 cents for a bag? What is the world coming to today? What is the world coming to today? Because this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Would I like a bag? Of course I need a fucking bag. I'm gonna put the food in my hands. I'm gonna put the fucking food in my hands. Then we'll slowly start shrinking the portions and increasing the price until we hit the line. The final line where people can literally no longer afford to buy your product. And you have finally run out of things to exploit for profit. And you're left with two options. Option one, continue this delusional business practice until you go bankrupt, which in that case, well, you've had some really good times over the years, but don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Or option two, Realize you can no longer have record profits every single year and change your business model. Which, again, I can probably tell you how that's gonna play out. Stage 1. Denial. Just like Chipotle's doing right now. First I can tell you the portions have not gotten smaller. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Stage two, bargaining, which we see McDonald's trying to do with their stupid deals where you have to get their app. It's bad, it's not gonna work. And when it doesn't, we will enter stage three, threatening to leave. And that's gonna go just about as well as when, remember when all those celebrities were like, if Trump gets voted president, I'm moving to Canada. And then Trump got elected president and they didn't leave. Why are you still here? Of course they're not gonna leave. These are billion dollar companies with a B. A B. You really think they're just gonna leave all those billions on the floor for anyone to come pick it up? Okay. <laughs> and that leads us to the final stage. Stage four. Temporal settlements. Where they will have no choice but to bring their prices back down to a reasonable level in order to bring back customers. But of course, they can't just bring the prices down out of nowhere because then that would be showing that all the prices were artificially inflated like they were. So they'll probably say something along the lines of this. Hey, we know times are hard, so temporarily, we will be lowering our prices at a great personal cost to us because we care. You're welcome, you broke little bit. When in reality, all they'll be doing is taking the money from up here and bringing it back down into here so that this price can shrink a little bit. That's what they'll be doing. And lowering the costs will work. It will bring back customers for a time because like always, they never learn from their mistakes because they're too greedy to have rational thoughts going through their head. And after some time, they'll start increasing their prices again very slowly to see what they can get away with. And the whole song and dance begins all over again until eventually people get upset and they leave to go to your inevitable replacement. Because when you're charging around $20 for a fast food burger. It's only a matter of time before someone goes, oh, I can make a fast food burger for like $3 and then charge six bucks for it. I think I'll do that. And then you'll be replaced as you should be all because of your own unsustainable, absolutely delusional business practices. But hey, everything ends and like this, most of them end because of completely stupid and avoidable reasons. But that's hubris for ya. She's a heavy bitch, ain't she?